What you see is what you get. This is the motto of the new Subtech system, which has replaced the old one from CSGO. Today we will introduce you to how it works. There is very little reliable information about the new Subtech system on the internet. Generally, there is a lack of information about basic server mechanisms that affect gameplay. We have tried to gather as much information as possible from our developers who are well versed in CS2 reverse engineering and the Subtech system. For starters, let's break down the leg compensation system. This mechanism is designed so that a player with high ping can hit other players. Without the system, a high ping player would always see what has already happened and literally wouldn't be able to hit anyone because all actions occurred on the server long ago but didn't reach the player in time. Such a player is practically living in the past according to the server. Therefore, the leg compensation system was developed. Its main task is to recreate the scene on the server that the player saw some time ago. Let's try to explain this visually and deliberately turn off the leg compensation system. The player takes a shot and misses. Now let's explain why this happens. Player 1 has a ping of 50. Player 2 has a ping of 100. Player 2 is in two positions simultaneously. The one they see on their screen and the server 1. This is because information about the player's movement needs to reach the server. The path takes half of player 2's ping time. Similarly, information from the server needs to reach player 1. Thus, player 2 is in three positions. On their screen, on the server and on player 1's screen. Consequently, player 1 will always shoot at what they see on their screen. In the third position of the player, essentially. Therefore, the leg compensation system takes into account what player 1 sees and registers the hit essentially on what happened a while ago for player 2 and on the server. Without it, player 1 would have to guess where the opponent would be and hitting would be much more difficult. Based on this visualization, it becomes clear that player 2 exits simultaneously in three positions. The one you see, the server and what the other player sees on their screen. Without the leg compensation system, you would have to guess where the opponent will be when the information about your shot reaches the server. Thanks to this system, backtracking works in cheats. Backtracking is a mechanism that cheats can interact with according to specific rules to return the enemy's player model in time. From the example provided earlier, you saw the player's model that they see on their screen with a ping of 100. Technically, everyone has backtrack. However, the cheat can shoot at many other positions of the opponent's model due to knowledge of how the leg compensation system works. By default in CS2, the maximum delay of the enemy's model from the server is 200 milliseconds. The cheat shoots at the position that the leg compensation suits, thus returning the opponent's model in time and the server registers the hit. Now let's talk about sub-tick. The first thing we need to understand is whether it's better or worse than 128 tick rate in CSGO. The thing is, the tick rate can be increased infinitely, but it won't fix its inherent problem. There will always be a delay in registering player actions because the server simply doesn't consider when a specific button was pressed. Even at the tick rate of 128, the server would prioritize packets it received earlier. This is why Valve decided to develop a new system that is much fairer and more accurate while maintaining the same load on players' computers and game servers. Technically, SubTick provides accuracy comparable to a thousand tick rate or more. Now your FPS is basically your tick rate because the more FPS you have, the more precise information you transmit to the server. However, it's still uncertain what's new in how SubTick functions. The subtech system has interesting technical nuances. If explained simply, in CSGO, the server processed all information once per tick. In CS2, numerous other refining parameters were added to this. When did you press the button? For how long did you hold it in milliseconds? When did you release it? With all this data, the server reconstructs the most detailed compositions of all player actions, sorting them precisely in time considering what the player saw on their screen. This is why many professional players experience various difficulties in shooting in CS2. This is due to the fundamental change in how the system works. Earlier, you needed to shoot where the enemy would be. Now you need to shoot only where the enemy already is. It's not surprising that after so many years of playing CSGO, people get used to it and do it subconsciously. An experienced viewer might ask, if everything looks good on paper, why does it work much worse in practice than in CSGO? Valve has the same question. Technical problems were not part of the deal and were not planned. But if you study the subtick system conceptually and how it's intended, it vastly surpasses the old system multiple times. 
However, achieving perfection right from the game's initial release is nearly impossible. In summary, in Counter-Strike, there are indeed many different systems whose aim is to improve your overall gameplay experience. As for the subtick, while the new system is in its early stages, it shows promising improvements compared to the fixed tick rate system. All it needs is more time for adaptation and refinement. We'll be waiting for your comments below this video. You might point out some important points we missed. Feel free to also share topics you would like to learn about in future videos. Throughout this video, we've hidden several easter eggs containing subscription activation codes, and we continue to run giveaways for all commenters. The rules are simple. Like the video, subscribe to our channel, and leave a meaningful comment with your Never Lose username at the end of it. Thank you for watching. This has been the Never Lose team. Stay tuned for more insights in our upcoming videos.